Welcome. In this session, we'll explore EU Annex 22, Draft Guideline on Artificial Intelligence in Pharmaceutical Manufacturing. This annex was created because AI is entering critical areas of pharma manufacturing and regulators want to ensure patient safety, product quality and data integrity are never compromised. Annex 22 draft applies to computerized systems in drug and active substance manufacturing where AI is used in critical applications. That means any system where AI decisions can directly impact product quality, patient safety or data integrity. Importantly, it only covers static machine learning models with predictable outputs. AI that learns on the fly, probabilistic models or generative AI tools like ChatGPT are not permitted in critical GMP applications. These rules are an extension of Annex 11, which deals with computerized systems. Annex 22 draft highlights three main principles. First, personnel. Using AI isn't just an IT project. It requires cooperation between subject matter experts, quality assurance, IT, data scientists, and sometimes consultants. Everyone must have clear responsibilities and proper training. Second, documentation. Every step, from algorithm choice to testing, must be documented and reviewed. This ensures traceability. Third, risk management. Implementation must always be based on risk to patients, products and data. If the risk is high, the controls must also be strict. Before deploying any AI, its intended use must be fully described. What task will the AI perform? What input data will it use? What are its limits and biases? This description must be documented and approved before testing begins. AI performance is measured using metrics like accuracy, sensitivity, precision, or F1 score. Acceptance criteria must be at least as good as the manual or automated process it replaces. If the AI supports a human decision, a human in the loop setup, the human operator's role must be clearly defined and their performance monitored like any manual GMP activity. Testing AI requires robust and reliable data. Test datasets must represent the full range of situations, including rare variations and edge cases, be large enough to provide statistical confidence, have highly reliable labels, verified by experts or validated lab tests, dot any pre-processing, exclusions or data cleaning must be justified and documented. And importantly, generating test data with generative AI is not recommended because it can create unrealistic results. Independence of test data is critical. The data used to test a model must never overlap with the data used for training. Access to test datasets must be restricted and audit trailed. Staff who worked on training must not be the same people validating the model, unless the four eyes principle is applied, meaning they work alongside independent colleagues. This prevents bias and protects data integrity. Testing must confirm the model is fit for its intended use and can handle new unseen data. A test plan is required, including the purpose, metrics, acceptance criteria and scripts. Any deviations or failures must be documented and investigated. All test documentation, including test data, results, audit trails and even physical test samples, must be stored as GMP records, just like other validation documents. AI decisions must never be a black box. Annex 22 draft requires explainability. This means recording which features influenced a decision, for example a heat map highlighting a crack on a tablet that led to rejection. Tools like SHAP or LIME can help. In addition, the system must provide a confidence score. If the AI is not confident in its prediction, it should flag it as undecided rather than making an unreliable decision. This ensures transparency and trust. Once approved, AI models are not left alone. They must be put under change control. Any change to the model, system or process must be documented and evaluated for possible retesting. Models must also be under configuration control so unauthorized changes can be detected. Regular performance monitoring is required. For example, if lighting changes in a production area, it might affect how a vision system works. Finally, companies must check that input data still falls within the AI's sample space, otherwise the model may no longer be valid. Some key terms to know. Artificial intelligence is a machine-based system that infers from input to produce outputs like predictions or decisions. 
Machine learning means training a model with data instead of explicit programming. Static model means the AI is frozen after training and won't keep adapting. Explainability tools like SHAP and LIME show why a model made a decision. Overfitting happens when a model learns training data too well but fails with new data. Thank you for watching.